Right? When you come to high availability, AWS provided there are six high availability strategy maximum. Uh, this six, uh, yeah, few more are available. But why we are focused and always we need to remember the six uh, high availability strategies. This six strategy only uh, practically in reality, which will come in every day actually in our environment. So when you are going with the elastic load balancing, right? The, how the concept of load balancing will work? We will have a server like that. Okay, we will have a easy to install behind the screen. We will have a load balancer. Back end load balancer, right? We will connect with this. And the people will be, you know, launching like this. Will be reaching user will be reaching the load balancer in this way so behind the load balancer whatever node available node one or node two right whatever available whoever available they will be simply you know uh forwarding the request to first request to first uh, node second request to second node like that they will distribute the packet distribute the traffic uh, each other that is the basic concept of load balancer we all know that so here if one node goes down right if one node goes down we have always available with the second node in the user, they may not aware what exactly uh, outages happen in the backend. In the short span of time, we can recover it, we can fulfill all those things. We can come back, we can provide the high availability to this particular node. Okay, now we have a multiple category of load balancer available, as you already know, classic load balancer, application load balancer, network load balancer, gateway load balancer, many load balancers that are there. This is providing each node will be available in the multiple AVs. So load balancer is going to be the first availability concept of your AW. Second thing, availability zone. Since the basic fundamental of your uh, AWS data center itself in the back end, uh, AWS uh, located in the multiple uh, ACs. Okay, availability zone 1, availability zone 2, availability zone 3, something like that. So, in a region and an average, minimum it starts from 3 availability zone, maximum it can go up to 5 availability zone per region. That is also a base level of high availability zone, right? That is very important, right? That is the major fact about this particular availability zone. This gives you a Second category of high availability to your AWS concept. Third one is auto scaling. When there is an instance down like that, it is automatically replaced by producing a new instances in your load balancer. Automatically producing the new uh, instances in your load balancer. That gives you additional level of auto scaling. This gives you an additional level of auto scaling. Second one, RDS back and right multi zone high availability it provides. Whenever uh, the the backend concept of RDS, we are telling it's a platform as a service. So whenever you create any uh, RDS, right? Whenever you create any uh, specific uh, uh, database in the AWS, so by default, the, the data is distributed behind the screen. Data are distributed uh, behind the screen. The specific data, right? Whatever we are having in the environment, uh, from the RDS, uh, backup will be taken for first availability zone. Same backup will be associated with the second availability zone. Same backup will be around three availability zone. Totally, they are managing the three availability zone in the back end. So, when you are hosting your RDS, uh, that is the another reason people even can say, Hey, hurry, I can provision on EC2 instance like this. I can install my DB uh, application over here. I can use, right? Why I should go dedicated uh, RDS service? This is the reason. When you are going into the EC2 instance, you have to take care of your backup and all. But when it comes to AWS, it's probably the inbuilt uh, high availability concept, failover. So one availability zone goes down, my data still exists in the another availability zone. That is the biggest advantage. That is the fourth category when it comes to the high availability in the AWS. And S3 guaranteed providing your data for 99.99% of availability. EFS guaranteed 99.99% uh, of availability for your data. Few more high availability concepts are there, but reality as the cloud architect perspective, if you're having knowledge on these availability concepts, high availability knowledge, that is enough. 